hey so i'm looking crazy and i just wanted to hop on here real quick and show y'all i'm like a day late and a dollar short but i wanted to show y'all what i had got from the sephora vib sale i did like a haul okay so i got this big old box <laughs> Sitting here with some tea because you know your girl gotta be hydrated and blessed. So let me get y'all in here a little bit closer so we can talk. We have to we have to have a conversation. We gotta talk. <laughs> so okay. Oh, child. Looking all the way down at me. My setup is a mess. This whole thing. Maybe this will be a little bit better. Yeah. He's gonna be listening to me as I give my sentiments on what's been going on in my life lately. I will be sure to link her information or put her information down below in the description box. Um, this is a local artist here from Dayton, Ohio. So, and then, you know, this is another local artist too. Yeah, gotta, gotta still get finished with that, you know. So I don't even know where to start. Fresh was doing a level up there. I had re-upped on Fresh because I've usually only had their trial size. And I really like the soy cleanser. This has always caught my eye. I don't think I've ever had this or else I had it in a tiny bottle. So far, 10 out of 10 would definitely recommend. It comes with the um, soy face cleanser. It comes with the hydration toner, the face cream, and the serum. You can't use that serum or the deep face cream while you're about to put on makeup like unless i just was doing too much at one time but i don't think that that's really a good combination and then here is the rose toner i've used this uh probably about a good four or five times along with that came i don't know it's packed up crap I'm sorry. That's where my life has been. Like, I wish that I could get up here and be like, oh, it's been all good. And I'm about to show you these products from Sephora. The things that I got from Sephora. I got the Boom Boom So de Janeiro set. I got this because this is one of my most complimented scents. Everybody loves this on me. So I just had to re-up on that because, I mean, you know, it's on sale. Like, why wouldn't I not? also decided to try it's the milky leave-in conditioner i see it's shampoo and i'm like what but uh this is a leave-in conditioner um i have used these products well i've used most of these products i will say that so i don't want to try to sell y'all something or tell y'all oh you gotta go try it if i ain't really tried it yet so or else if i can't if i can't vouch for it but I got this too. I wanted my hair to smell like that, you know. I like, I appreciate the Fermenza oil, but maybe I don't have enough like experience with, with it yet because I've only tried it twice. Then I wanted to tell y'all the Fermenza oil, Bob Bob Scrub, which is okay. I like it. it. It does what it needs to do. This took me a moment to get used to. It is their Char Cream Gel. And then these is just two OGs, okay? You know how that go. If you ain't tried that, I don't know so much about reduced the cellulite. A lot of people say that it do. I don't know. I just like the way that it smells, the way that it does on my body. It's all right. <laughs> I've been all over the place. My mind has just been scattered. I've been trying to pick up pieces of just where I want to go, where I need to go, things that I want out of my life. Like, I've just been trying to get it all together. It's been... A journey within the last couple of weeks alone it's just been it's been haywire y'all i am now entering the dark night of the soul and with me just learning about this whole thing y'all i'm not too too versed on it so i i can't give you like every single detail look it up y'all it's tough uh, it's definitely painful. They said that usually you first enter it when you've experienced a pivotal moment that is sometimes triggered by a death or a loss. And also it happens in cycles over time, especially if you haven't learned your lesson the first time. It has something to do with identifying your kudalini, kudalini, your kudalini cycles, identify a toy flame and everything like that. And I'm just like... <laughs> Give me a break. I have to get the K.I.L.E. 
pistachio gelato. Now, if you know that the Boom Boom, it has uh, pistachio and sauteed caramel. So I'm like, it would make perfect sense to pair these up with the two. I do have the perfume. The perfume is nice. I will probably re-up on it next year. But since I have this, and they didn't have this in the store, right? So I'm like... Bro, like, come on now. Come on now. So, I settled and I got the Sis Collection, which was the Hoda Beauty. Sorry, y'all. My stomach is growling, y'all. I'm about to do a girl's night and I don't even know what time it is. It's <laughs> given she's about to be late. I'm hungry. Hungry. So, maybe I should get through these first and then we can talk about what we need to talk about as I'm doing this. Okay, so I got the sisters set. It is the Hoda uh, Beauty Queen of Sheba shade. And y'all, first I was scared, but I put it on. She's definitely giving La OG shade. And I will even, I'll show y'all real quick. Can y'all tell? It's just like a nice muted. I might actually do that to like, I don't know. A little shade, a little hint of red. I used to, like, this used to be my go-to. I used to be crazy. Liquid mattes that Maybelline had me in a chokehold. If you know, you know, y'all. had to settle for this. So I'm like, okay, throw her in the purse. You know how to do. You know. <laughs> Look at me. I'm already looking beautiful. Come on. I don't need to do nothing else. <laughs> so, yeah. So I got these two. Uh, just because it was on the same vibe as the Sojalero. Please excuse me, I've lost my voice. I've been sick, I've been stressed. It's just been crazy. I wanna show y'all the tea elixir that I got from Fresh. I could not deny this, y'all. I couldn't deny this. It smells so good, and this one smell good too. It's supposed to be an activator serum to kinda help out with like anti-aging and stuff like that. Fresh Lotus. Um, I don't know when she put it on my face. Whole new woman. So I said, put, put that, put that, put that. Give it here. Thank you. I mentioned that I had went during the like fresh event. So both of those full size items had came with the toe, and it came with two of their larger size trial sizes. Whatever. Okay. So yeah, definitely ten out of ten. Recommend both of these products. They are a little bit on the price, but you know you got to do what you got to do. Okay, what you gonna do? You go, or you go? It's up to you, okay? <laughs> oh, I picked up Summer Fridays, y'all. I don't know, I don't know. I, I really love the applicator, but I feel like the actual formula I could have probably held off on. But a lot of people were saying that they had some type of issue with the formula, like it wasn't being consistent as what it was when it first came out or like even a couple weeks ago. So maybe I just got like a bad one. I don't know. But it just wasn't. But that applicator, A1. And I was able to tell the difference because I had put some on my finger first because I was just like in a rush. And I'm like, ooh, you know, the applicators is, you know, it's cute. When I actually was trying it, I had to keep reapplying and reapplying. So I don't know if it, I don't know how user friendly, you know, at that point. <laughs> but I'm just saying it. I don't know. I'm just glad that I got it on sale though. I can say it like that, but yeah, I'm saying it like that. Since we smell it good, we smell it good. I had to. My homegirl right here. I'm so sorry about that. Yeah. Will I tell you the Burberry goddess? Go how you smell like a goddess. That's it. That's it. I just wanted to show y'all this. Yeah. This. It smells like something and I'm gonna get to the bottom of what it smell like to me but it smell fruity it I don't know if it's like curve or like Britney Spears Circus it smell like something it smells like very much so something so I'm gonna get to the bottom of it because it's, it's killing me at this point let's move on to still kind of like body whatever I have to try the Olaplex my friend was going crazy about this i have not actually tried it yet i just have to pick it up it's the olaplex bonded oil there's two different types i believe but it's supposed to reduce reduce frizz and flyaways extends color i have like blonde at my ears um it removes vibrancy it's a heat protectant um it shortens drying time no residue vegan i like how the way it look i don't lie you know that's a good selling point 
you know that'll be it for body yaddy yaddy and let's move on to face which i really did like somebody is missing at this point it'll be in the next video okay <laughs> So let's just make that the segue into what what's going on with me right now. Okay, so I've been stressed out. Since I have been stressed out, I decided to... I'm like, I need some more hero patches. But the lady from Fresh, I believe she was from Cleveland, Ohio. She was like, girl, you don't need, you don't need no, uh, no hero patches. Try the Fenty Blemish Defeater. With this, you're supposed to be bare skin. Basically applicator is like this and it's supposed to smooth all of that over and it's kind of like a second like liquid skin y'all i've used this a few times on the two blemishes y'all can see those on the two blemishes that i have right there and 10 out of 10 definitely recommend y'all i i just i really do not know how to start talking about this stuff like i really don't know beauty wise i love the lancome hypnos the original formula this one has been okay it does a really good job at separating the dofa is like that so the dofa is like that and if you can kind of see it has like some curve to it well i have this open i'm gonna just like kind of show y'all what it has been able to do for me to me is not as great as the original formula as far as results wise i will say after though after i used it i don't know like it was like my lashes was like hydrated so i'm like okay you know what this might be the vibe but it just had to go in and start applying those lashes that everybody be wearing now I don't know if it's people revving up for getting ready to go out or else if it's this group chat that I'm a part of, but they're going to have to shut up. Okay. So y'all see the lashes, right? Right. Separation, right? Right. Okay. So, um, yeah, that is everybody like, please, I'm about to see y'all. Please don't message me or text me up to the point where we about to see each other. Like, hey, four hours before the <laughs> before the interaction, I don't want to hear from you, okay? And that's just, I don't know. I, I know that might sound crazy, but I just, I cannot talk at all. I wanted to grab my phone to tell y'all I hate <laughs> that I'm like right here in front of y'all with all the low eyebrows, but it's cool, it's cool. I wanted to talk to y'all okay about the dark light of the soul it says google it says the uh the phrase the dark light of the, of the soul is often informally to describe an extreme difficult and painful period in one's life for example after the death of a loved one the breakup of a marriage or the diagnosis of a life threatening illness um so just to give a little bit of context to that grandma passed away my third well yeah third fourth year third fourth year uh marriage it has been interesting um i have learned of a new and deeper understanding of what it is to be married without having the glimmer and the shine and the, the highlight and everything like that and to be fully devoted and dedicated to somebody even when they might not have the capacity to love you as you expect right expectations definitely is almost like the thief of joy because it's like in your mind like you do a subconscious comparison and it's almost like you know you see the highlight reel and stuff like that of people on social media and whatnot and then you, you compare it to your life your everyday life also my son was really really sick he had rsv pneumonia he's been out of school i've been really close to him taking care of him i feel like he can sleep the best laying on my chest just being a mom for him but it's also a cause for me to um yesterday and the day before definitely had to break out the inhaler and then my doctor was concerned about blood clots. So I do have anemia and that causes for me to be tired and cold, right? But also with the transition of the weather, I've been feeling like really, really sad and upset. 
and I didn't identify as having seasonal depression up until last year when I had got sick with COVID and my dog passed away but right before then I had a family member that passed so and I wasn't really close to this family member but it just was something like you know when you hear about something and it's just like a messed up situation so that's just what that was for me um I'm gonna look into symptoms and it says extreme sadness with no explanation, uncontrollable uh, crying, a feeling of emptiness, loss of motivation, act activities he wants to enjoy, loss of appetite, or need to binge eat, insomnia, or sleeping too much, no desire for sex. So definitely like really went through all of those things too and just try to evaluate like, okay, where am I at? You know, why does one minute life looks like it's like this and then the next minute life is like even there's no connection you know so i'm like okay what what's going on here and now it will happen in steps and it will happen in cycles and that's something that i'm like okay give yourself patience for because this isn't gonna be the type of process that you can just wake up one day and say okay i'm okay it has to be some type of self-awareness to where you're able to say even on a good day there's still this thing going on but you have to be fully cautious and open for it so that way you don't come out bitter or you don't come out sad or you don't be stuck in a state of depression i'm just aware like all in all aware nonetheless i picked up house labs my home girl got me together she picked it right on up for me i said okay and then she's also my home girl too lady gaga i mean look at that formula that consistency is so crazy given what this is just about to do for me now i'm not the type of person to get od crazy when it comes to makeup anymore i did used to beat the face down but i don't really do that no more i'm gonna cover those blemishes hit my eyes there because just been stressed the under eye is a little darker than usual since i i got those uh results back saying that about the hemoglobin i'm like okay this isn't me like aging this is just the fact that the oxygen ain't ain't oxygen in basically and then i don't even know why i would do that before filling in the eyebrows but that's okay i picked up the anastasia beverly hills the beginner's brow kit but i like both of these products it's the clear brow gel and then it is the hold on now hold on stencils oh okay okay <laughs> i'm not mad at it there's stencils in here i'm gonna give them to the law i don't know why i'm trying to <laughs> she gonna watch this like you real funny I don't know why I'm trying to play her because I definitely forgot how to do my eyebrows these days. But yeah, so that's just kind of like where I've been at. And I've been also like happy to be able to utilize that that still as kind of like a pick me up. Sometimes just mommy and being a wife in everyday life, you kind of look in the mirror, you don't really like what you see in my day to day my whole process of just getting up going to the gym and those days where i was really like irritated with certain features of myself i really wish that i could just get up and go like it was just to the point y'all i was looking at the other moms my age you know like damn they look amazing and here i am looking crazy i look like a, a little guy i drive a food truck but i look like a whole truck driver like i look like a little boy where's the family where where okay so the dark light of the soul also explains divine feminine and divine uh masculine energy i think when i was being overly critical with myself and just wondering how come I can't get my act together. I mean, literally trying to change my hair. This is cute. I might have to hold on to these. You know, we just about to change up some features. I'm about to pop out with these. Yeah. Watch. That's give an attitude. Attitude, attitude. So I was just like, oh my gosh, like I wish I could get it together. I got so irritated around the time of my birthday, like it wasn't that much humidity going on in the world my hair literally tried to attach to every molecule of moisture in the air and i just got so irritated with that so i'm like okay you know what i'm gonna have to figure that out but it also led me to do a, a cute swoop ponytail where i'm like okay you know i could kind of i could kind of get with this so let me do my eyebrows real quick oh yeah this is the one that i wanted i wanted the boy brow but that was sold out of that and them girls be going in there acting crazy off topic but since we 
got the Sephora stuff going off. My thing is, it's it's a vibe going in there trying makeup, talking, being girls, da da da. But when it comes to actually like the purchase of makeup, I do not recommend you actually going in there and buying up the house. Don't no, I don't I don't like it. That part to me is just underwhelming. Just off the fact that y'all I don't know, but Sephora don't like giving up samples no more. The customer service be whack. That tax be, I live in Ohio. It should have never gave New York, but they do for some reason. And to top all of that off, people be having their dirty, nasty hands on stuff. They liable to open up something off the try me to try that on. It's been a few times I done got something out of there and y'all, it's been open. I just say go in there, try whatever you gonna try on. If you can wait, if you can stand it, buy whatever you absolutely need to buy in house and then turn around and just get whatever you can wait on offline. And then too, they gonna send you uh they gonna send they gonna send you some samples. So why? And so I realized too, I'm also very irritable. I'm just at this point where it's like I only have X amount of energy to give to certain people or certain things. One of the cycles starting off is where you experience and you really come to know the divine. That brings a certain amount of uh, enlightenment. But so much so, like, I felt and seen myself do this to my mom. That you go in and you try to help people and you try to... Okay, so my heart, my intentions was to help. But hindsight is looking like uh no you're trying to fix people and so me and my mom had a discussion and she even told me like you know I'm not there yet to see things from your point of view I really appreciate that I really appreciate how you are able to see things that makes me confident you know in my parenting style and as a mother and that you have that same space to talk to me about that but certain things now that you're getting older, we're not going to see eye to eye. We can definitely have our differences about stuff and it won't be any type of issue. But, you know, she just had to break it down to me like that. I mean, if she broke it down to me like that, I wasn't like upset with her about it. But it did make me sad because I'm like, it's coming across as judgmental. That's what part of that is. Like, if you don't catch yourself, you will completely disconnect with people. And to the point where... I kind of threw myself into what I do for a living just because I was afraid of wasting time with people and for it not to be fruitful. All in all, every season serves its purpose. Like I said, it's just, it's so important to be self-aware because you can catch yourself tripping. And I definitely was tripping. I self-isolated to the point where it kind of fucked up my trust and um, kind of like, mishandling people in a way so i just yeah i just kind of like gave up on the money is gonna be my friend and you can't be like that when you are essentially trying to make yourself become this pillar a mother a wife a reliable resource for other people all in all a vessel of the lord like you can't have that type of mindset so when i realized that and also too all of this stuff like i'm literally just coming to know god says that you cannot have this love for money and not seek him and not have that grace for people that's not being rich that's not being wealthy being rich and wealthy is having grace gratitude over any situation um knowing that everything is going to be okay and focusing on yourself that's where i'm just at with it i know that this moment is going to bring about it might get worse before it get better all things in this moment right now has been pointing more and more towards the truth of myself. The the greatness about healing is that it's definitely within. I don't know why I'm trying to talk while I'm lining my lips, but I'm lining my lips with the Makeup Forever pencil and that is in the shade. I think it's 205. Hold on. It's 506, y'all. I'm so sorry. Endless Cacao. I seen this girl. We was about the same complexion. I think she told me it was this one. And it just ate down. So I'm like, that's perfect. Because I feel like I go after this color. And sometimes it shows up too red on me. Which it'll kind of show up red anyways. Because I, I put the whole of beauty on there. I like how the way this look. Because it is giving fire. 
is giving what it needs to give and it's a good transition from day to night but this is beautiful yeah this this is beautiful but uh yeah so i just realized a lot about myself all along i can't sit up here and bash myself or or hurt myself or not acknowledge who i am out of fear of being so detached from myself i can't mute like certain feelings anymore and i realized that too when i started to be it, it came in stages first i was irritated then i started to present more masculine energy because i didn't understand the point of view that i was coming from because i felt like certain situations and places that i was putting myself in called for me to be more masculine this is now high high sight the core of who i am is saying okay you need to you need to be softer now you can really fully acknowledge and embrace that you are a woman and that you know here are the traits and here are the characteristics of the woman that you are you can still be soft you can still be you know beautiful but when you take a look back and you see how people coming at you like i had this girl i had to tell her to stop calling me because every time she's calling me she talking about she gonna whoop somebody's ass and she gonna beat somebody up and i'm like damn like for what you have three kids i have a kid and i know for me like my anger is kind of like i'll get mad then i won't even feel it because i tend to compartmentalize, uh, compartmentalize my feelings and then i'll just do shit just because i felt like somebody was doing something to me that is not okay because that is very much so unhinged you are absent and you just doing stuff if i could get away with it especially being the person that i used to be if i could get away with i'm honey bill is would have been blown up it would have been so crazy and that's not me up here trying to flex about it because we all have the cap uh, capacity of doing crazy unhinged stuff but all in all i have to get rid of the girl because you're not gonna be calling my phone it's all about energy transactions right you're not about to be calling my phone on that mess acting crazy and here i am feeling like it's not even a safe space and i have to produce and, and be in this this masculine state and beat my chest around you just because you have this unhealed energy or you don't have the best intent for me you see what i'm doing out here with my business and you want to see me act the ass i can't do that it was that right there that kind of made me go into this shell of isolating and kind of like not really hiding it behind my business but just saying like hey i'm just gonna get the money worry about my family i'm not gonna no it's all about self and mental awareness you have to make sure that you are checking in with yourself because it's so easy to get caught up in that mindset to the point where you look up and you be like dang it literally was 3 30 my son came through the door and i'm not walking away or getting out of my office until 6 30 7 o'clock by that time, maybe I got, you know, a good 45 minutes with him, but he's already so irritated and upset because he didn't have that time with me that he is, you know, he's doing what he's doing to be in the way that he's being. I feel like I got to hurry up and put him to bed. My husband's about to get ready to go to sleep. You have to learn how to prioritize and reevaluate and check in. So I've been checking in with myself. I had this moment of detachment where things just got out of hand and I really did not I didn't really acknowledge myself or the way that I was feeling until I was able to verbalize and really address and also put a a, a name to the feelings that I was feeling that's cool but before you act on anything check in check in with yourself let's just use this analogy go you get your car you get into an accident you get hurt now the doctor is not gonna come in and say well since you hurt uh we gonna go ahead and re-break your leg no they're gonna evaluate you and see what's wrong with you they're gonna see if you are in pain what type of pain that is if it's a certain type of swelling 
if there's a possibility of clots so they could be able to um, determine if they should give you like an acetaminophen or ibuprofen or whatever. They're going to assess that. And so that's what I mean by checking in with yourself. Before you do anything and you are able to identify the problem, whatever it is within yourself, and you are able to put a name to it because feelings are so fleeting and we live so much in our flesh, we are flesh, that you have to kind of sit with yourself. And so part of being like in your flesh, you immediately want to feel and then you want to disconnect. Because you want to handle things the way that you think that you can handle things rather than sitting with that and seeing how God is trying to move through it. So, all in all, it's, it's, a, it's a process for sure. Um, and I feel like we can all just kind of learn how to give each other grace. Because also, when you realize, too, for instance, like being married, you want somebody to kind of trust you with their feelings about stuff. But you have to assess your heart posture and see where that lead is coming from. Do you want to figure out what's wrong with the other person because you genuinely want to help? Or do you want to figure out what's wrong with the other person because... You have childhood trauma that aligns with trauma bonding and you just want to feel needed and seen in their weakness. So that's what this moment and time is, is really teaching me how to do that shadow work. And the shit is crazy. And I don't really, I don't really, uh, I don't know, like I, I've been very uh, intimidated by it, but... I've been reading up on it and seeing like, okay, is this something that I really have to assess and work on? And it is. And it is. And uh, just getting my feelings out and writing everything down and seeing like, okay, this is my feelings right now. It has allowed for me to be more clear and move through certain things in a better way it brings me closer to, to wholeness and, and honesty so i'm here <laughs> i don't even know what else to say about it because this is a very pressing and intimidating moment but i know for a fact i know that i know i know that i will never like lose myself again so that's a promise that for sure like god has gave to me and in this whole moment, like, just remember God's promise to you because his hand is so unchanging and life hurts. It's going to hurt. It's going to be beautiful. And you just see a higher level of, of servitude that everything correlates together. No matter if it hurts you, God might be using that thing or using you to lead to something else. We're all energy. And so it's best that you do protect your energy and it's best that you do get in practice of identifying your energy that you're releasing. They say that uh, negative energy, I think, is either t uh, twice or 10 times more polarizing than positive energy. And that's something. That's something to consider when you are going through hard times. So they say hurt people hurt people and... You just have to do your best to to move through this whole thing. So my stomach is growling. And I'm going to just cut the video right here. I really appreciate y'all watching this. Stay with me while I gather my thoughts. And maybe, you know, just try to do something to this face real quick. I hope it's given what it needs to. Camera is kind of old. So I'm going to just be looking beautiful regardless. But, <laughs> but uh, definitely like, comment, subscribe. Feel free to comment down below what are you suffering with right now. It don't have to necessarily be like the dark night of the soul or just any type of the, the struggles that I'm going through right now. But just, you know, feel free to comment down below. We are all one. We are all after God's heart. We are all seeking peace. So I love y'all. Stay hydrated. Stay blessed. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.